Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sudden Death matchup. It's been a little while since I did the last one of these. And today we're going to be playing on Civil War. The settings are Castle Age Start, Fast Speed as always, High, high Resources. And uh, we're on a six player map, again, Civil War. So, the way the map looks, it's got these shallows that run through the middle of the map. Players will start with their town center here. Not a lot of resources here, there's plenty of wood. All the golds are on the outside and all the stones are on the outside. So they'll have to expand out for those, but again, you lose your town center, you lose the game. That's how sudden death works. If you haven't seen my part previous sudden death games, please click, click on the link above. So without further ado, let's introduce the players. We have Otis, an 1800 level player, playing as the Goths. We have Leo Nunes, a 1700 level player, playing as the Chinese. Hank playing as the Byzantines, he's 1600 level. Nameless playing as the Ipi Ethiopians, I believe he's 1600 level. Trirem, a 1600 level player playing as the Incas. What's the Risk, a 2k level playing as the Spanish. And Wormy Wormy, a 1600 level player playing as the Huns. So, let's see how this goes. Some of these players have obviously played Sudden Death before. We have Leo Nunes walling in his town center. We have Otis placing a castle right on top of his town center. Hank's kind of building a wall. Nothing for Nameless, but he's going to go for some early crossbows. This is Castle Age start, of course. And Trirem has built a barracks. And what's the risk has built a castle and some conquistadors. So let's see who goes down first. Because this can uh, get pretty ugly pretty soon. Wormy Wormy's going to go with palisade walls and a castle. And yes, water control can be a thing. Red is, uh, Otis is going to expand out early and try to get his uh, his gold. Obviously, players don't have uh, don't start with any gold mines, but they do start with seven hundred in the bank. Hey, sir. Now, while things get started, we can talk a bit about the map. This is nice from Nameless, by the way. We can talk a bit about the civilizations. We have Ethiopians. Their shotels are pretty good. Very good archers. Very good siege. Byzantines, they get extra HP on their town centers. That's a really nice bonus for them. Broad tech tree for them. Chinese, again, another broad tech tree. Uh, they get a few eco bonuses, but nothing too special, I think. We have the Goths, get attack bonus versus buildings with their infantry. But no stone walls for them. That could be a big weakness. What was that? Delete a wall or something. Wormy Wormy, they get Tarkins. Tarkins are a very good unit against uh, town centers and buildings and that kind of stuff. What's the risk? We see them making some conquistadors and a very, very broad tech tree for them, too. Incas, they get castle, uh, cheaper castles and cheaper stone fortifications, which will be good in defense. And that brings us around. <laughs> Look at Leo Nunes. He's not playing around. He's already got two layers around his, uh, around his uh, town center. What the university is for, I don't know. And he's gonna take the scout of Hank. So a few of the players are moving out to take some of the golds. I see uh, Hank taking some gold. I see Nameless placing a castle on his gold. Thinks that's more important than the town, his town center currently. Frank, what do you have PTSD for? Oh, PTRDS. What does that mean? I thought you were typing PTSD. Tons of Kikisadors out for what's the risk. Tons of them. They can do massive damage. No army out yet for Wormy Wormy. And no player has yet gone for the Castle Snipe. Oh! The university is just for a fortified wall. I've never seen that strategy yet. It's perfectly viable, though. I think. Does it even matter what's viable? It doesn't matter what's on the stream. Woo woo! We have a, a wolf kill. I want to see the most unviable strategy. That's what I want to see. I want to see the most unviable strategy work. That'll make my day. Looks like Onus is going with Husk Girls and Pikemen. And what I'd give if we can combine game modes... What if we can have like a death match, sudden death, regicide, king of the hill? That would be awesome. Oh yeah, lack of action in the early game. No player has gone for water control yet. We do have uh, What's the Risk fishing a bit, though. And most of the scores are pretty similar in this early stage of the game, so anyone, anyone can take this game, as we've learned from previous Sudden Death games, too. 
Ooh, Spanish Ville rush to TC. That would be fun. Oh, could be P-Tards. Yeah, I forgot about that. Of course, how do I forget about P-Tards? What does Onus have? Yeah, he does have P-Tards. Thank you for pointing that out. Hopefully, we'll catch that once those guys leave. Tio's going to go out to the golds. It's very interesting. The reason I like this map a lot, I was considering doing this for the, for the free-for-all brawl. Uh, it's got a lot of different elements. I mean, your town centers are very close. So you can go for that kind of snipe. Gives you a lot of resources early on just by playing on these regular settings. You have water control. You can go for cannon galleons or galleons, that kind of stuff. And also you need to go onto the outside to get those uh, to get those golds and stones. Nameless is going to go with the pure army approach. She doesn't need walls. What is Hank going for? Hank's going for Pete Tarts too, so we'll have to keep an eye on Hank too. Here we go, we see some movement. Otis is gonna move out with his P-Tards. Glad I was looking at the mini-map. Should bust through these walls very quickly. Why is Wormy Wormy only making Palisade walls? You need more than that. Oh no! This is gonna be an early snipe, I think. This is why you have to wall early. There's no way you can save this. No way. There's no way, and Wormy Wormy's gonna go down instantly. Bad misplay from Wormy Wormy. <laughs> That's for last game, bitch. Yeah, it was between these two. Yes, it was. There you go. Early GG, after that log war. Man. If you're playing Sudden Death, take it seriously. Play it like it's Sudden Death. Get your stone walls up just like uh, Leo Nunes did. Don't get with those uh, Palisade walls. And just like so many other Sudden Death games, nothing is said. Just a player is defeated, and the rest of the players are like, what? What just happened? Could be you next. What's the risk? What's the risk is not going to learn the lesson of... Uh, Wormy Wormy, of course he can't see it, but he's gonna go with Palisade Walls too. Too expensive. Go away. Oh uh, shit. Treaty. Why is he saying treaty? Oh, there's a uh, Conquistadors <laughs> in his base. And what's the rest? <laughs> Whatever happened to those uh, p here? They're still here. So Hank's going to put a pummel in on uh, Onus. Onus has to be thinking, okay, what's the risk? It's going to be my next target. Palisades are not your pal. You, you, uh, you get what you pay for. Davis is just playing pure defensive. That's not how you play Sudden Death. You want to be as aggressive as possible on Sudden Death. Leo Nunes has a lot of resources and access gonna get second castle up on his town center he looks fairly safe he looks the safest out of all these players but just because you're safest doesn't mean you're gonna win the game necessarily where do those conquistadors go there it's so hard to see gray on the map sometimes let's go over to what's the risk here they are they're running into this castle I like how I hear multiple voices. And it looks like these guys are going to finally declare war. <laughs> Both players are going to show their hands. We're going to have the Ethiopian's crossbow, of course, and the Byzantine skirmish. The Byzantine skirmish is going to win this. And I don't know if these uh, P-Tards were meant for Nameless a few minutes ago. But where do those guys come from? Oh, there's trebuchets in the bottom too from Tryra. Tryra making those trebuchets. <laughs> this is funny though, these uh, P-Tards, no use. They're just gonna go back now. So that's purple. Again, you have to play aggressive when you play uh, Sudden Death. You're just gonna make P-Tards and win. P players have done that before and won with just P-Tards. Players have lost with just P-Tards as well. You might not win against a player like Leo Nunes, though. 
got three castles now and two layers. They're really going for that trebuchet to avenge their empire. And I don't think they're even gonna get it. Alright, where are these, uh, these P-Tarts have to go to Leo Nunes at some point. I think that scout was just to see what, uh, Leo Nunes had. But I don't think, uh, I mean, what are you gonna need? You're gonna need three, six P-Tarts to get through the wall, and then five for the town center. And then the rest are gonna go down to the castle. So I don't think that's nearly enough P-Tarts. Here's the second attempt from Onus. It worked once against Wormy Wormy. Let's see if it works against What's the Risk. Again, What's the Risk didn't wall in his town center very well. And he's placed a castle on his gold too. Oh, there's even an opening here. Just a little pathway. A pathway right into What's the Risk base. Oh, go for that pathway. It doesn't... Palisade's not going to matter, man. You better get more layers than that. Oh, no! No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, yeah, here he comes. How is What's the Risk going to defend? He's not going to defend. He's going to garrison. There's not that many P-Tarts here, though. I think it's just going to be barely be enough, though. There we go. What's the Risk is down. That's the score leader, of course. We're left with uh, four players now. Should have treated me. Ha <laughs> ha Otis with the one-liners this game. Great one-liners. I wonder what his next one-liner is going to be. Alright, so we're left with Onus. Let's evaluate each player at the stage of the game. Onus doesn't have the biggest economy. Has two castles defending. It's not a solid defense. I don't think two castles is a solid defense. It's great with in conjunction of walls, though. Alright, so we have Leo Nunes. He's got uh, the best defense out of all these players. His economy also looks pretty solid, and he has access to all these resources across the map. So I think I'm going to take Leo Nunes for my favorite this game, so far. We have Hank. He's massing a lot of P-Tards. He's got a good farm economy going. Not as much, uh, not as much gold coming in, though. However, Hank is in the Imperial Age, which is something a lot of these players aren't. Trirem's in the Imperial Age, but his defense looks pretty weak. And he's not taking a lot of gold himself. He's trying to mass a few eagles, though. And this eagle, if he's observant, should see these petards. <laughs> How do I defend his goths with palisades? Plenty of palisades. There we go. Hank's gonna go straight for Onus. It's a single tile here. No, he's gonna go for Leo Nunes, his neighbor, of course. But you're not gonna find a good angle with Leo Nunes. His defense is too strong. Oh my god, how many Chukunu does he have? So many Chukunu. Too many to count. <laughs> All of them are attacking the trebuchet though. He needs the trebuchets to go down. That's this one weakness. All the armies distracted while the p go to the left side. And Leo News is going to pay a lot just for a few skirmishers. Here comes the p -tarts. p -tarts gonna come in the left side. The army of Leonidas is gonna come back to defend. Smart move. And I think Hank might only get a castle for all these p -tarts. Not a worthwhile trade. So Hank's attack is foiled. What did he get? He got a single castle for it and plenty of Chukunu. But he's left with no defense now. No army anyway. Take a look around the map. We still see Onus building up these P-Tarts. He's trying to get as many castles as he can because he can't build stone walls. Surprisingly, no players have actually decided to raid the outside with all the resources. And no player has gone for water control either. With cannon galleons. Oh, 
Otis is still in the castle edge. I wonder if he's thinking about going up. No, he's stuck. He's solidly stuck in castle edge. Not enough farms for him. And two more castles. Three more castles coming up from Hank. He's defended from every side. What is uh, what has Charim been doing this whole time? I can't really tell. <laughs> well, wait, what is what is what is going to happen is he's going to die. Here comes the petards from uh, from Otis. One side, two sides of the town center are not protected at all. And oh shit, Yellow's going to realize this. Here comes the petards. I I love this how the petards run and they just die. But they keep going. They don't care. Where are they going? Alright, here they go. They're gonna get the town center easy. And down goes Trira, without even saying anything. <laughs> so then there were three. With Onus, the super defense of Leo Nunes. Leo Nunes is not pushing in. <laughs> oh my god! Tryra, he's gonna go for another town center snipe. I was her nameless. He told me to say that. That's Otis's attempt at another uh, catchphrase. I don't know if nameless actually told him to say that. Remember when I kill told you I'd kill you less? I lied. Thanks, getting double teamed. He's not very happy. He's defended on the right side. Actually, Tryrim was dead. <laughs> Tryrim was dead and he was sieging that uh, town center. And slowly, Leo Nunes pushes in. If Hank goes down, it's just going to be between him and Otis, which are right next to each other. And Otis is preparing his uh, petard push. Now, it would be great if Otis actually had Huskarls, but... These Chukunu are so heavily upgraded. Hank's gonna go down. Hank's just gonna resign. Can't defend from the trebuchets. How did Hank survive? I don't know, he's still alive. It's cause he's playing, he's got the Byzantines town center, that's how. Let's come to this. Alright, let's see what Otis has. Let's check Otis's uh, fog of war. He sees two layers of stone wall, fortified stone wall at least. And he's gonna go full petard. Looks like Leo Nunes might take this game. He's got such a heavily upgraded army. Onus is gonna have to find the perfect angle and stall for as long as possible if he wants to win. Alright, here he goes. He's gonna make one attempt. He's got two rams if they want to soak up the damage. This could be a close game, I think. The rams, they just need to soak up the damage. That's all they need to do. Oh my god! Two layers to go. He's got two layers to go. The castles are firing on top of the P-Tarts. No, oh, it's gonna go on. Here comes the P-Tarts. Here they go. Here's the conclusion. Oh! Oh, it's, not, it's gonna fail. It's gonna fail, and Onus, Onus's heart has to be sick. He's got another. He's got another push in him. Not cool. The fortified walls are too much. And I think this is the end. I think Leonidas is gonna take this. He yeah, had the best strategy with the well with stone walls, the quick university right away. The four castles in the area survived every attack. Some of these other players they didn't learn. Palisade walls not gonna cut it. You gotta get the four fine walls just like Leo Nunes did. Went straight for that university. Wow. If you'd like to see more sudden death games, please click the link here and please like and subscribe to this video and I'll see you next time.